Say, that is really something. Incredible. Glittering, fascinating, fabulous, mythical. And paradoxical. That's a very interesting demonstration you've got there. You have to have some knowledge of science. So that's the point. From the Department of Things Weird and Wonderful, a long-standing mystery solved. How owls... Rotate their heads 270 degrees on the horizontal axis, and they can actually tilt their heads 180 degrees on the vertical. Fabian de Koch Mercado is a scientific illustrator at Howard Hughes Medical Institute. And an owl enthusiast? Oh, that, I love owls very much. Absolutely. <laughs> is an owl freak. And that's his partner on this study. So I am Philippe Gayou. Gayou is the director of interventional neuroradiology at the Johns Hopkins Hospital. And before we go any further, you have to see this. Okay, back to the science. It was already known that owls have double the number of vertebrae in their necks than we do, and more segments gives them more flexibility. But the unsolved mystery was this. Why are there not hundreds of owls lying on the forest floor with a stroke? Even if I had enough bones to turn my head like this, I'd damage an artery in my neck, and that... Leads to the risk of having some blood clot formation and then uh, a stroke from that. Gayou specializes in vascular disease, by the way, and he says that besides clotting, the other problem is that turning your neck that much would pinch your arteries and prevent blood flow to the brain. Is there some adaptation that owls have that allow them to do this? To answer the question, they x-rayed 12 dead owls. No owls was hurt in the making of that experiment. They also dissected owls and injected a contrast dye to see how blood moved through owl necks. And they found that this artery, although it runs through a canal in the vertebrae... This canal is 10 times larger in diameter than the vertebral artery itself. So it has a lot of wiggle room. And in the human, the vertebral artery is touching the bone, so it's hugging this canal. The other thing is that that artery actually doesn't travel through the canal at all at the bottom of the neck. That additional amount of slack prevents any uh, vessel damage. Plus, the other arteries, the carotids, don't stretch because... They are, in fact, in the axis of rotation. So that covers the protection of the vessels. Now to the, the second part, which is supplying blood to the relatively large head. To understand how the blood flows, the researchers injected dyed fluid into the arteries of the owls, rotated their heads, and then took x-rays. And they found something curious. We consistently noticed that these arteries were getting larger towards the base of uh, the head. The arteries pooled blood right here. These reservoirs are most likely a mechanism to hold blood when the vessels are constricted somewhat by this extreme range of rotation. Possibly providing a source of fresh blood for the brain. These findings may also explain why owls are not lying on the forest floor suffering from strokes. As for the practical applications... I don't think I can say that we learned from that experiment anything that's actually going to help our patients, but it doesn't matter, you know, the, it's, it's interesting by itself. It goes to show that there's so many things uh, on this planet that deserve a closer look. For Science Friday, I'm Flora Lichtman.